Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you a super quick DIY. I think I picked this up at maybe Joann's and I'm just gonna reburn it a little bit. I did get it started. I've had this sitting around for like years, honestly. I was going to add it to like my Etsy as like a nursery section. I had all these big pipe dreams and I started this and never touched it again. So now it's super relevant. It's going to match the nursery really well. So we're going to bring it back to life and just darken and deepen all of these burns. So this is a little bit sped up as always to make it a little bit easier to watch, but this part still takes quite a bit of time. That's just one mountain. So I will like clip this to save you guys. I know they make a ton of these like wanderlust kind of theme nursery like at Hobby Lobby, but why would I buy it for like 30 bucks when I can just make one and then it's unique and I think there's something really special about making somebody something i don't really think the baby's gonna care but i will know that i put some time into this so yeah we're gonna stain it i picked a really dark espresso stain because the crib is espresso and normally i'd use a different kind of brush but i just couldn't find one so we'll make this work Sometimes using like a rag or even like an old sock works a little bit better when staining something, but I feel pretty experienced with the stain to be able to spread it out the way I want to with this brush. And I have to get like into those little corners up by the white tips, so it'll be fine. Don't worry. And a bump date. He's in there. He's growing. So don't forget to think about what it will look like when it's actually hanging up. So all of these like free edges are definitely going to be showing. So you have to make sure that you do this step and you don't leave that unfinished wood look. Because that will just look cheesy and kind of cheap. So make sure you do this part on whatever project you're working on. Just don't leave unfinished wood if the rest of the piece is stained. Easy way to really take it up a notch. So this is just a little trick. Use a cloth or a paper towel and just really get off that excess stain, especially when you're doing something with a wood burning underneath it because you don't want all that time you spent burning in those edges to just be lost if the stain is this dark. I don't use espresso very often, but when I do, and we're just re-whiting the mountain tops because they just didn't seem to be popping anymore. And then again, make sure you get your edges with this part. This was definitely the most tedious part of this whole project. It felt like we were done. We were so close to done. It kind of looks done, but it just wasn't done until I sat there and had the patience to put the white in where it was needed. And if you can see, I'm kind of working on like this wonky rug. It's actually my back porch because it was like a beautiful day this day. But I really like how this turned out. I will show you in the next clip the final thing. And then I made a little piece that matched it that was just like a stain and some more white paint. But really matches the nursery pretty good. There it is. Looks totally different in the natural light. You can kind of see the wood grain a little bit better. And it hangs. And on these two projects, I spent like $10.
just going to show them your flowers. Come here. Are these yours? Are these yours? I like smelling them. Hey. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We're having fun on this good day. There's a doggy over there. I'm distracted. Excuse me. He's busy. Thanks for watching.